If the diagnosis is cancer, time is important. Call the PMC Lawson Cancer Center and we'll see you quickly with the goal of starting your plan of care within two weeks of diagnosis. Our purpose is saving lives. Mingo County had many close races on election night and a larger voter turnout than expected at nearly 36%. It's very important that everybody exercises their right to vote. It's one of the very few freedoms we have. And by exercising it, you get to choose your leaders. And I would love to see, we have 16,000, give or take, registered voters in Mingo County compared to what it used to be in the 1960s when we had over 40 some. Uh, but it's very important, no matter when you turn 18 years old, register to vote, don't matter what party you register, but exercise your right to vote. Mingo County's election results for U.S. House of Representatives, 1st District, State Senator, 6th District, House of Delegates, 29th District, and House of Delegates, 34th District, reflected the outcomes in the overall districts, with local voters picking the winners in each of those races. The election was close, um, a lot of tight races. My race in particular was a close race. We kept our, our races were no, neg no negativity. Everything went real sm went smooth. We had a few issues throughout the day, but everything got resolved throughout the end of the day. A special election was held for county commissioner unexpired term, wherein Democratic candidate Nathan D. Brown won with 3,048 votes. The race for circuit clerk was closed with a margin of 69 votes, in which Democratic candidate Lonnie Hanna won with 2,900 votes. County commissioner was won by Republican candidate Thomas Taylor with 3,168 votes. And county clerk Yogi Croft won his election with a margin of 136 votes at 2,900 947 votes. Many also voted in favor of the tax levy, which does not raise taxes but continues the rate already in place. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.